Now the thing is, eh, when you have to know this, you have to understand this. Eh? It says, prepare to meet the Lord your God. Eh? Prepare to meet the Lord your God. When you're preparing for a visitation of God, you don't prepare like you're meeting some footballer. Eh? Or like, you know, oh, this is going to be some, you know, casual, you know, you know. You know the ancient of days. You know his glory. You know the, etern the eternity. You know the realms of eternity from whence he is. Eh? You're dealing with this glory that is ageless. Eh? And he says, okay, now prepare to meet the Lord your God. Eh? So how is your heart going to be? Eh? What is going to be the setting of your heart in dealing with his visitation? Eh? How prepared are you? How prepared? Are you going to think, oh, he's going to come, then pour some, some spirit on you, eh? and then, whoo, then again you move like this. It's, it's not going to be that way. When you, when, you, when you perceive God, when you perceive his glory, his visitation, the way it actually is, not the way in which it has, it has been portrayed over the years through the churches, eh? but the way, because his glory changes, changes everything about life. You think these were things here we're talking about, you know, these were fake, fake things here. They can't, they can't stay. They're not going to stay. So we are dealing with that glory. We are dealing with that power. He comes to wield such an influence where a man, no man can say no after that. That is the God you're preparing to meet. He's not come to kind of present some kind of mediocre agenda to you. When he is come, he's telling you I've come to make you the best. Amen. So you've got to prepare to meet this God. Eh? Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. First read Exodus chapter 19. Exodus 19 from verse 10 and 11. He says, and the Lord said unto Moses, Go unto the people and set them apart. Sanctify them. Sanctify them. Don't leave, don't leave them ordinary. Sanctify them. Make them sacred. Make them special. Go unto the people and sanctify them today and tomorrow and let them wash their clothes. Some of you need this. Eh? <laughs> and be ready <laughs> against the third day. For the third day, the Lord will come down in the sight of how many people? All the people. We are talking here about something which is going to have an effect on all the people. All the people. All, we're talking about all the people being ushered into a certain level of territory. They're going to be visited in the sight of all the people. Hallelujah! You see, what I am telling you now is, is different from people having individual visitations. Here, God is visiting all of us. God is lifting us up as remnants of God. God is ushering us on a certain new territory. In the sight of how many people? But the time has gone. Eh? Thank you, Jesus. Mresila la bori bara mari man. Shela ri prove ke le badi la boki de masila man. Mresila le re pri la boki de masolori. Mresila la ri la bori la boki de masada mo. Mresila le ra bori la ba. Rele bori la badi ba ke le mo si la da badi mo. Rele la ba kolo di la ma yinda na mrasi. Sele da mo na da mo. Rele pra da bo di la ma da mo da ma di mo. Mla sala ra bo de na mo de re mo di mo. The hand of God is upon you now. Today in the name of Jesus 
May you move with God in the name of Jesus. Move with God as He moves with you. In this new face, in this new glory. Now in the name of Jesus, as a prophet of God that has been sent to you. In the name of Jesus, if you are in agreement with me, I shall bear you with me as I enter into these new territories. You enter as well. Eh? From today, from tonight, tomorrow, the weeks that follow, the months that follow, everything that is happening in the spirit, you're not missing it. You are not missing it in the name of Jesus. Now I declare this new visitation in the name of Jesus. You move with God, experience a new expanse in your life, find a new place with Him in the Spirit. Now the people who knew you, they're not going to know you, they're not going to recognize you. Hallelujah! God shifts you and shifts you, takes you to new territories. Hallelujah! You have been equipped and adored with new things in your life. Amen. New people, new openings. Amen. In the name of Jesus, it is done. Glory to God. Hallelujah.